Welcome to sketch spray painting, crafting and do it yourself art. Hey yo, what's up my great and awesome followers? Today's video will be a little bit different than videos I did before and a lot of people ask me Yo Sketch why you don't post on YouTube anymore? You don't need to worry I didn't quit YouTube right now I am on vacation actually it's business vacation with my family I said business vacation because they are on vacation and I'm on business trip and on this vacation I will do a lot of spray painting also, Sunny and I bought house that we gonna move in one day. House is really nice and it's really huge, but it is in really bad condition. So I'll need a lot to invest in this house. So while I'm here and while I'm trying to organize works in this house, I will do spray painting also because right now I don't have paintings on my web store because everything is sold out. So yeah, our plan is that one day we will come to this house and this is gonna be my main studio here. So I'm going there to assemble new painting table and walk you through what I need and what I love to have on my spray painting table. Interesting fact about this house is that my grandpa built this house from scratch and I actually grew up in this house and I know literally every corner of this house. So when my family decided to sell this house, I decided to buy it off and make awesome studio and living space of it. So in next few videos I will make vlog about work on house and things like that. So to all of you who are interested you can watch it. I wanted to make this video for myself personally and I know that some of you will be interested in it. So in the future I will make more vlogs and videos like that that will be connected to our life. Also I want to share with you awesome and interesting stories from my life and how I start with spray painting and I found buying this house is great opportunity to start my story from scratch. This video wasn't supposed to be about me talking about the buying new house. This video is supposed to be about uh, table assemble, table for spray painting. So yeah enough about talking let's go to assemble our table so here we are guys this is literally basic setup i just found this piece of furniture here and just put the door old door on top so this is gonna be my table for the first help now we're gonna assemble spray colors actually spray cans Paint the sky, eye, eye, blue uh, It's like this, yo I never said I'm a genius Oh well, I still got a big uh, Venus Fly trap as a pet But I fly talk back I can two-step round the galaxy But still kept my eyes on the sparrow Even if I had a lazy one Paint the sky blue from here to 3081 Okay guys, this might look a little bit confusing But it's pretty simple I'm just gonna explain here I have some shades that I'm not using that much and that often um, and here I have some purple and pink shades I have here my red shades, orange, yellow and here are some this is my favorite color, it's Reef I'm using most this color when I make cracking effect and this is my favorite color also this Lakers this is really awesome color in one separate video I will go through all my shades and I'll try to explain you why I'm mixing colors from graffiti and colors for painting cars and other things so yeah that would be one totally separate video uh, also I have here my blue shades and next to me always need to be black white and of course we have here transparent spray can I'm using a lot of these cans more than black and white because this is just like finish that go over every painting also I'm using this transparent spray can to refresh the color so I can scratch it also I'm using it for making flames to help 
dry painting faster so yeah that's that's it if you have some questions just let me know down below in the comments i'll do my best to to answer it excuse me pac-man got them ghosts that's fool to me they look up to the rappers like melted candy or a fresh cheeseburger now they stuck to the rappers stop chasing a wave on some cardio yo yo Okay, I don't know where to start, but I'll start here. So this is basic setup. This is nothing special here, but it's all I need for spray painting and it's all I love to have it nearby. So here we are first. This is more important thing. This is mask for spray painting, for protection. Actually, it's respirator. So in the next video, I will assemble it so I can show you what I'm using and how to assemble it. So I put this on the side now. For now, this is the most important thing when you do spray painting respirator. Next, we have here glow-in-the-dark powders. These are not marked yet. I love to mark them to know which color I'm using because on daylight they all of them they just look same as you can see and these are just like other shades so yeah I'll mark it next time so I can show you next we have here gloves this is also really important when you do spray painting so your hands always be clear when I was starting with spray painting, I didn't use hair, uh, I didn't use gloves that much, but now I cannot work without them. Also, we have here masking tape. I'm using, I'm using these masking tapes for uh, edges and all other things for protection of painting. And if you watch my videos, then you know that I made passepartout all around corners and yeah also we have here some spray caps i will make separate video also about caps that i'm using for spray painting here we have uh, i don't know how to call it but this is middle of of this tape i have sponge here this is just right like as you can see sponge for making trees and bushes and other things razor knives i love to use these razor knives and i cannot work without them also we have here some brushes these brushes are really awesome and really soon will be available on my web store to those of you who are interested um, mostly i'm using this brush here oh sorry i'm using this brush here that has edge so i can nicely make like pine trees and other things you can actually control your brush strokes with this brush as you can see difference between these two so yeah uh, these two I'm not using that much this is like small brush for making details and I will really love to use I'm not sure but I think this brush is made for pin stripping and it's really really nice for making nice details so yeah also we have this brush here this is fan brush and i'm using it for making palm trees and only for palm trees a lot of people using this brush for making pine trees i don't love to use i don't i'm maybe it's good but i didn't just get used to make pine trees with fan brush i prefer to make pine trees with this brush so yeah this tree is all that you're gonna need also we have a lot of here palette knives you basically don't need these palette knives i only use this one that has nice sharp point and sometimes i'm using this one that it's, it's pretty similar but it's not that it's not that pointy so yeah these two these bigger one are just optional for making 
some other things like um, buildings and yeah. Most important thing, a lighter. I always have three, four, five lighters nearby because I'm using it for drying painting. So, yeah. And uh, what we have here, we have here uh, magazine paper. This is also really important to have. I'm using this magazine paper for making awesome and nice textures on my planets, on paintings, on everything so i yeah, just cut it rip it off and yeah you're ready to use it inside i have here um this is actually the same paper that i'm using for for my paintings but this is um excess that we didn't need it so i cut them on these pieces like that so I can use uh, for a lot of different things some shapes for mountains you can use it to make shooting stars so yeah I'll, I'll show you so we can make mountains like this or shooting stars No, black shooting stars, but I'm just using black so you can see the contrast. And uh, I don't know, I'm using it for protection when you make water. So yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this kind of piece of papers, also for making moons and i don't know you you just need to be creative with, with these things but these are just awesome yeah under my table i have recycle bean so i can put all trash inside to be really nearby here i have air gun and I'm using it for blowing things <laughs> off so all dirt can be removed with this thing um, yeah I, I'll already show you transparent spray cans uh, one interesting thing a lot of people that use pencils you probably saw they use uh, some kind of metal pieces I just use old tiles and rocks so basically you can you can put it on your stencils so this is basically my setup that how I love to have it and if you have some questions about this setup and uh, about things that I am use in my spray painting work just be free to let me know down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Stay awesome. I love you all and see you next video. Dad, stop leeching. Even my princess know why leaders need impeaching. Less tension, more teaching. Stop dividing, start leeching.